while blue, red, and green are the most common and recognizable lightsaber colors in Star Wars. The Star Wars universe has a variety of colors for these weapons, including the orange lightsaber, which became canon in Jedi Fallen Order. So, how much do we know about lightsabers? How are they linked to the Star Wars universe's light and dark sides? The lightsaber has become an unmistakable symbol of the Star Wars universe, representing the never-ending conflict between the light and dark sides. The various colors of lightsabers, like most objects from George Lucas' galaxy far, far away, are imbued with deep meaning in the Star Wars canon. In this regard, the various lightsaber designs also function similarly, as seen in Star Wars Inquisitor's lightsaber spinning threats throughout Obi-Wan Kenobi's life. That being said, here's what each Star Wars lightsaber color represents, including the Dark Saber, which has become a pivotal plot point in The Mandalorian. Let's begin. Blue Lightsaber Blue Lightsabers, along with their spiritual counterpart, Red Lightsabers, first appear in Star Wars, A New Hope, with this color being associated with the Jedi. While it is not the only color used by Knights of Old, it is undoubtedly the most common as evidenced by the prequel trilogy's abundance of blue lightsaber-wielding Jedi. Blue lightsabers represent righteousness and bravery, owing to their association with the Jedi and the user's strong spiritual alignment with the crystal. Characters with light blue blades included Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, and Terra Sinube. This color is assigned to a Jedi Guardian in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, mirroring the prequel trilogy. Next, Green Lightsaber. Green Lightsabers are the Jedi's second most common color, which is closely associated with harmony, helpfulness, cooperation, spirituality, and demonstrable goodwill. The Green Lightsaber is commonly used by wiser, senior Jedi such as Yoda, Kagan Jin, and later Luke Skywalker after completing his Jedi training. It's also worth noting that Ahsoka Tano wields a pale green shoot lightsaber. Green lightsabers designate a Jedi Consular in the Expanded Universe, but this fact has yet to be heavily alluded to in the Disney canon. Moving on, Purple Lightsaber The Purple Lightsaber, a rare color also used by the Jedi, is associated with the Jedi Master Mace Windu. The Purple Lightsaber was a request made directly to Lucas by Samuel L. Jackson, whose favorite color is purple. As a result, the purple lightsaber has no actual meaning in the Star Wars universe and is relegated to an interesting factoid. However, because purple is a combination of red and blue, it represents moral ambiguity, uncertainty, and reconstruction in the expanded universe. As a result, the purple lightsaber represents the user's affinity for the Force's light and dark sides. Windu's purple lightsaber first appeared in Star Wars. Episode 2 Attack of the Clones and was lost when it fell out a window during Windu's fight with Darth Sidious in Star Wars, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Following that, Yellow Lightsaber. This color is only used by Jedi Temple Guards, who carry double-bladed yellow lightsaber pikes. Little is known about this particular lightsaber color, so whether it is intentionally yellow to distinguish the guards, or the crystal chooses the temple guards by turning yellow is currently unknown. However, characters such as Asajj Ventress and Ahsoka have wielded it at some point. Most notably, Rey Skywalker wields a yellow lightsaber after defeating Palpatine and restoring balance to the Force at the end of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Jedi Sentinels use yellow lightsabers in the expanded universe. When the ancient Jedi Jaden Corps purified a red lightsaber crystal, it turned yellow, indicating a pious nature within its user. Before Samuel L. Jackson wielded Mace Windu's purple blade in Attack of the Clones in 2002, yellow lightsabers were one of the first non-green, red, or blue sabers many fans saw on screen, thanks to the 2000 PlayStation 1 game, Jedi Power Battles, which included yellow lightsaber wielder Plo Koon, as a playable character. Next, Orange Lightsaber. Thanks to Jedi, Fallen Order, Orange Lightsabers are the newest addition to the Star Wars canon. This color was revealed as a pre-order incentive for the game, so it has no backstory other than its inherent exclusivity and marketability. 
orange blades have been used by the Sith and recently dark-aligned Jedi in the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Still, in the new canon, there needs to be an indication of what, if anything, it means, with Jedi, Fallen Order providing few in-game clues at the moment. Cal Kestis, the playable character in Fallen Order, is the only canon character who wields an orange blade, but in Legends, several Jedi and Sith have been seen with them. Moving on, White Lightsaber Ahsoka Tano primarily used white lightsabers, as proof of her Force mastery. Ahsoka recovered these special kyber crystals from the lightsaber of the Sixth Brother, an Inquisitor she killed during the Imperial occupation of Rada, while hiding following the Jedi Order's collapse. These had originally emitted a red blade, but Ahsoka used the Force to purify them and restore them to a white color, representing her status as an autonomous individual, as she was no longer affiliated with the Jedi and had no affinity for the dark side. Ahsoka used these new white crystals in two lightsabers, one of which was a Shoto blade. Following that, red lightsaber. Red is the lightsaber color that unmistakably represents the Sith. Unlike the Jedi, who have a connection with their kyber crystals, the Sith cannot forge this unseen bond and must thus steal their kybers or use other methods to build their lightsabers. The process is known as bleeding, which involves pouring all their hatred, fear, and other negative emotions into the crystal, causing it to bleed and turn red. In the Star Wars Expanded Universe, the Sith were similarly unable to use kyber crystals for their lightsabers, so they created synthetic kybers, which turned out to be red. Darth Vader, Count Dooku, Darth Maul and his double-bladed lightsaber, Darth Sidious, and Kylo Ren, have all used this color. Next, Dark Saber, Black Lightsaber. The Dark Saber, first seen in the animated series Star Wars, The Clone Wars in 2010, has become an important weapon and plot point in Disney's new Star Wars canon. Tar Vizsla, the first Mandalorian, created the Black Lightsaber. It has appeared in several Disney Star Wars projects, including Star Wars, Rebels, but it is best known for its use in The Mandalorian. Din Djirin, the main character of the show, currently wields the Dark Saber, and by doing so, he is technically the rightful ruler of the Mandalorian people. Before Mando, previous Dark Saber wielders included Rebels antagonist Moff Gideon, Rebels character Sabine Wren who will make her live-action debut in the upcoming Ahsoka on Disney+, Plus, and even Darth Maul. Disney is positioning the Mandalorian's Dark Saber as an important piece of Star Wars lore that has significance beyond its unique color among lightsabers. The Dark Saber has a distinct hilt that is shorter than most lightsabers and shaped like a traditional sword or katana, used by samurais. The Dark Saber owned Pre Vizsla, the governor of Concordia, when it first appeared in the Clone Wars. Following Vizsla's death, the Dark Saber was kept in the Jedi Temple before being stolen and passing through various hands before making its first live-action appearance in Season 1 of The Mandalorian. This weapon became a symbol of leadership for Mandalorians, and the only way to obtain it was by defeating the previous owner in combat, according to Mandalorian rules and customs. It's generally thought to be more powerful than a regular lightsaber, thanks partly to the heavier blade, which allows for more powerful strikes. Following, the standard lightsaber. The standard blade is the most well-known type of lightsaber. This is the tool that Luke and Anakin Skywalker use. In part, George Lucas chose to equip the Jedi with lightsabers because he knew that swords have historically been regarded as ceremonial objects imbued with mystical significance, or used as proof of birthright. This history highlights the significance of Anakin's lightsaber passing to his son Luke and explains why Kylo Ren was so outraged to see his grandfather's blade in the hands of Rey. Because the kyber crystal does the hard work of focusing the plasma, non-Jedi can use all lightsabers, but only a Force user can fully utilize them. Ayla Sakura used a blade made of durasteel designed for durability. At the same time, Rey's new lightsaber, seen at the end of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, was built partly by her senior staff to symbolize her character growth. 
Some lightsabers have bent hilts that help improve the dueling design. Others have different nozzles that give the blade a slightly different shape. And, of course, lightsabers come in various sizes. All lightsabers are reflections of their respective users in some way. Jedi frequently adorned their lightsabers with embellishments and beautiful patterns in the past. Many were constantly adapted in part due to changes in galactic fashion, a practice that can be traced back to Star Wars High Republic era. Moving on, Dual Phase Lightsaber Darth Vader was skilled with all lightsabers but preferred and used the unusual and highly versatile Dual Phase model. The Dual Phase Lightsaber is a relic from a more violent era, with two kyber crystals. Vader can change the length of his blade by rotating the kyber crystals into a new alignment with the flick of a switch. This can be useful in surprising an opponent. Still, the different lengths necessitate different combat techniques, so only a true master of combat should attempt to use a dual-phase lightsaber. Though all lightsabers are dangerous, the dual-phase lightsaber may be the most dangerous to users with no or little force connection. Finally, the Shoto Blades. A Shoto Blade is included in the Jedi Ahsoka Tano's two lightsabers. A more aggressive Jedi warrior typically uses this type of shorter lightsaber, and showrunner Dave Filoni intended it to represent Anakin's influence on Ahsoka. She was a fierce combatant because she held the Shoto blade offhand. A guard Shoto is another subtype of Shoto mentioned in sourcebooks. This has a different hilt set at a 90-degree angle, which aids the Jedi in transitioning from attack to defense. What do you think of our video? Is it fantastic? What about the descriptions and meanings of the lightsabers? Is there anything we might have overlooked? Please tell us in the comments section below. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this in future. Thanks for watching.